Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize CS2, get better FPS, fix lag, stutter, and input latency on any PC in 2025. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be covering all of the best windows and game settings. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings of course and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here you have to go down to personalization, head over to colors and then disable transparency effects. This will help you to disable windows and surfaces appear translucent to reduce unnecessary animations. After that click on the apps button over here and then click on startup. You'll find all of the applications which are set to default startup apps on your PC. You're gonna have to disable as many applications as you can right over here and this will reduce the number of applications running in the background right after you boot your PC. This will reduce the number of processes as well as your CPU usage and will help you to boot your PC faster. Then click on the gaming button, head over to game bar and simply disable game bar to open up using the shortcut keys. Since it is an overlay service, utilizing game bar in your games can depreciate your FPS and lead to performance issues. After that, head back to gaming, head over to game mode and this time you have to enable this one. Game mode turned on will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Now then you have to click on the graphics button and then you wanna have to do some graphic settings. First one is optimizations for windowed games, you wanna have to turn this thing on then advanced graphic settings in which you have to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will ensure that your PC utilizes your graphic card to render the game. After that click on the add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of CS2. In case you're wondering where it is, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Over here you have to copy the file path and then you can paste it right over here. Head over to game, bin, win64 and then you have to select cs2.exe click on the add button and if that is already added scroll down to find it once you find it select it and for the gpu preference make sure to select high performance and then optimizations for windowed games should be turned on right over here as well once that is done close your settings before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to aniba which is a marketplace with over 30,000 digital products and a growing interest in expanding libraries to meet all your needs at aniba you can find cheap games windows keys game pass and a lot of other cool stuff. You can also buy Discord Nitro over here. You can simply click on the categories section and then select from the categories. They have products for mobile games, PC games, game cards, e-gift cards, Xbox, PSN, Nintendo and a lot more. My personal favorite is the Windows key over here where you guys can get original Windows key for a great discount. Aniba supports global regions so you can select and pay in your own currency and once you're done with the payment you will get your keys in the email within 5 to 10 minutes. You can find all of the keys in one page that is under the trending section where you guys can select any product from their hot picks and get it at an absolute discounted rate. Aniba has a 4.3 star rating with over 246,000 reviews so you know that they are trusted. And Aniba believes customers shouldn't have to worry about their purchase and that is why they offer 24-7 live support to help with any questions about your purchase. Simply go to their contact page and click on create ticket now to resolve any of their issues if you face one. I have left a link to aniba.com in the description below. Make sure to go check out for all your games and gaming needs. Next step is compatibility settings and for that head over to Steam and then right click on your game, click on manage and then select browse local files. Head over to game, bin, win64 and then select your cs2.exe. Right click on this, head over to its properties, compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization. Click on change high dpi setting and select this option. Click on ok and this will help you to reduce unwanted input latency. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that simply search for services on your PC and then search for sysmain over here. Once you find it, select and right click on it, head over to properties and if this is running click on stop and for the startup type set this thing to disabled. Sysmain turned off will help you to save your CPU resources and help you to optimize your FPS in the games. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it CS2 just so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal in case of any mishaps. Click on close and close system properties. The next step is CS2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in 7 useful folders over here which will be helping you to optimize 
optimize the performance of your PC. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU files. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and similarly for the Intel CPU. It will help you to change the DWORD value of your processor to optimize its performance. Second is RAM optimization, which does the same thing as CPU optimization but for your RAM. Over here, you have to select your RAM that you have installed on your PC. I have 32 GB so I need to double click and apply this registry over here. To find out yours, you can simply search for system information and look for installed physical memory. Apply that according to your PC and if that doesn't work out in any case, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder is CS2 priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply for the maximum FPS that you can get out of your PC. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless but they are still running in the background consuming your system resources. If you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave them and disable every single one of these services over here to optimize your PC's performance. And once again, if you want to revert them back, head over to the revert registries folder and you can turn them back on. Fifth one is power plan settings which is really essential to reduce unwanted input delay, packet loss and jitter. For that, right click on this, head over to run as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command to add a new power plan onto your PC. Double click on power plans and then click on show additional plan. You have to select ultimate performance which should be available in this list. It will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your PC. Simply close it. Sixth folder is input delay improvement in which I have left optimization for your keyboard and your mouse. For your keyboard, I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard model specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. And then for the mouse, you have to double click and apply the fixed mouse curve which will help you to set up the correct value for your X and Y smooth curves to optimize your performance. If you edit it in notepad, you guys can see what are the settings that it is going to change on your PC. It's absolutely safe. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files. You will have to right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files right away. Then MSI mode utility 3.0, right click and run this as administrator. Right over here, you have to find your graphic card, select the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on the apply button and it will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts more efficiently. Once that is done, close it and close the FPS back. Next step is defragging and optimizing this drive. For that, simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here. Select your local disk C and as it is a solid state drive, click on the optimize button. This will trim the SSD and remove the unutilized spaces between to occupy data. It will help you to optimize the performance of your SSD and in case of a hard disk drive, click on analyze and let it run. This will analyze your hard disk drive and then click on optimize to fragment it. Once all of that is done, click on close and now you're good to go. Next step is heading over to Steam and setting up your launch options. For that, head over to Steam. For that, right click on your game, head over to properties and then you'll find something called launch options. What you guys have to do is type in hyphen use all available ports space hyphen dx12 if you guys have a good graphic card if you are running a very low end computer i would recommend you guys to run it at dx11 once that is done simply save it and close it then you can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game head over to the settings button and then go over to video settings make sure that your display mode is set to full screen windowed and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution then head over to the advanced video settings and right over here you have to enable boost player contrast then disable vsync if nvidia g-sync is available for you guys you can apply that however nvidia reflex low latency should be set to enable plus boost then under the presets you have to select the current video value preset to custom and then for multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode you guys can go with 4x msaa global shadow quality should be set to medium or low both of them works fine dynamic shadow should be set to sun only however all helps you with a little bit of competitive advantage model or texture detail i have gone with medium texture filtering mode go with anisotropic 2x shader detail you guys can go with low if you have a low end pc however i have selected high over here particle detail you guys can go with low or medium ambient occlusion should be disabled and then high dynamic range you, you can go with performance however this will deteriorate the quality of the video so you can simply go with quality and then fiddly fx super resolution for super low end pcs go with performance drop balance and if your pc can handle cs2 you guys can go with quality or ultra quality i still prefer keeping it to disabled which is the highest quality over here but this will disable super resolution and it will render your game on a hundred percent scale basis 
Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game and enjoy the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.